Well, good Sunday morning to all of you. Sunday morning, I mean Sunday night, evening. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Can't remember what day it is or what. Anyway, I was sitting here ready to get ready to go to work. And I haven't put a video up today. So I thought, oh, I better get a video up. Because I know there's probably at least 80 million people out there waiting for my video. So, how y'all doing? Uh, today I had to take a uh, sponge bath. Couldn't get in a tub. Couldn't take a shower. Gotta take a sponge bath. I gotta do this for a week. And I don't really like it. But, you know, it's the way things are. But, uh, because I'm not allowed to get any of these these uh, patches they got on me covering up like my skin graft they took off my leg. The lady or whoever put the patch on, <laughs> excuse me, done a real nice job. It's nice and flat and everything. It's kind of large, but it's, it's flat. Doesn't interfere putting pants on or anything like that. But the person that put the uh, bandages or whatever on my head, uh, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> but it's like they took a baseball and stuck it on there and put a patch over it. And it's very hard to put my hat on or anything like that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. If I take my hat, see that big <laughs> round thing on top of my head? Now, why in the world do I have that big ball on top of my head? I mean, very hard to wear a hat and stuff. You got something that big on top of your head. But Friday, they're gonna take these patches and stuff off and see what it looks like, how I'm getting along with it. So I can't wait till Friday. Yeah, right after work, Friday, 8 o'clock, I got to travel about a half hour, hurry up and get up to the hospital right after work. You know, take these things off. And I don't don't really know the reason why I got a baseball tape to my top of my head, but I'm hoping that if I got to wear another you know, patch, gauze, whatever they put on there, that maybe they'll put it on there flat this time. And it won't be a baseball, you know, hanging on top of my head. But, you know, you gotta put up with what you gotta put with. I suppose there's some reason for it. You can feel it, it it's kind of mushy. So I'm thinking there must be some sort of liquid or something that he got all wrapped up in some gauze and stuck it on there and taped over it, hope it stay dry or stay wet or something, I don't know. Well, whatever, yeah, let's hope that everything goes okay, it uh, heals good and I can get this baseball off my head. Now the skin, I can sit there and just move my skin on my head, easy, it don't hurt, not one bit. It's like, if I make a big smile or anything, it's like, then it'll hurt. But it's like the skull itself moves a little, then it hurts. I don't get that, but whatever. But I suppose he scraped uh, right down to the skull, I don't know. But uh, luckily, you know, um, they gave me pain pills for it and stuff, so eh, who cares. But I'm interested tonight. The uh, reason I have skin cancer on my head even though the doctors disagree they say it was the sun that did it it was the sun but my uh, grandfather his one side of his face when he talked it just vibrate in and out it looked like a frog going you know and uh, what happened was he's cutting down a tree once and it fell smacked him in the side of the face well, it caused skin cancer, so they just removed it all and just left that little thin skin there is left. 
Well, the same thing happened to my dad. He was doing something and it smacked his arm real hard. And uh, they gave him skin cancer. So he went up and had it taken off and they put the graft on, blah, 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 and got it done. Well, where I'm working now, I got a, uh, it's a big suction cup uh, thing that comes down, picks up a big hunk of metal to, to move it from one place to the next. Well, it's right at the right height that if I don't pay attention, I smack my head on it constantly. And they've been asking every once in a while, I come, is there anything, that's safety issues or anything here? And I'd tell them, you know, yeah, I think it's got to be higher. I keep hitting my head on it. Of course, they, you know, I'm just me, fool you, yeah, you know, they don't do nothing about it. So for two years, banging my head on the thing, I developed skin cancer every place that I banged my head. Of course, you know, I'd look at the doctor and the doctor said, oh, the sun done it. No, it was banging my head on that thing. But now I got a baseball on top of my head. I'm going to even have to be that much more careful <laughs> working. I mean, I'm going to have to be bent way over. My back's probably going to get sore by the time the night's over. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe on press two, we don't run it. It'd be fine by me. I don't want to bang my head. Of course, all three presses we got, I've banged my head on them one way or another. You know, just, you don't realize they're there and you're working and, you know, paying attention to what you're working and bang. They go, oh. I mean, I've hit them things so hard about knock me out sometimes, but hey, that's life. But anyway, I just thought I'd put a video up because if I didn't, I realized that I'd have like 85 million people all upset that they didn't get to see me for the day. But here I am and hope you all have a great Sunday evening and sit there and watch your movie or whatever you're going to do before you hit the bed. And don't worry, I'll be up all night protecting the world. So we'll catch y'all later and have a great Monday. Bye.